Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, resin tank off of my uh, Elgu Mars Pro uh, resin printer, which you saw me unbox and set up a little while ago. It's had a huge amount of use. It's been running almost constantly ever since I got it. And we've come across a little bit of an issue, and I will try and show you. Uh, this uh, film at the bottom here, which is called a, f a FEP film, I don't know what FEP stands for, I'll have to look it up. Um, there's basically, I don't know if you can see that where my finger is, there's a little uh, patch of grey there. That is actually cured resin. And the reason that resin is there is because there's a little tiny pinhole in the film. And it's letting resin leak through out of the tank. Not a huge amount, but enough to cause the prints to fail. Um, now, it should be said, these films are considered consumable, so it's not the end of the world. And so today, I thought, seeing as I showed you how I set up the printer and all the rest of it, uh, I thought I'd, I need to change this. I thought I might uh, take you along for the ride. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Now, fortunately, Elgu do actually give you uh, spare films. They actually give you two of them. They don't come with it. Uh, you have to um, basically like and subscribe you know, to all of their social media and then they send you these through the post. Uh, so they, they give you two of them for free, which is nice. Uh, the problem is, as you can probably see, when it turned up, that envelope is bent to buggery, which isn't good. And it also means that the film itself has kind of taken on the shape of the packet, which is useful, but... <laughs> whatever it's free i'll give it a go and see what happens um it does actually have instructions on the back of how to do it so you basically uh take all the bolts out put the film on uh do up all the screws jobs are good uh, <laughs> what could possibly go wrong right i've never done this before so we'll give it a go see what happens um now the first step is to remove all of these allen screws so i've got a two and a half mil um, socket on the uh, ratchet here and we'll pop all these out right I'll take all these out and then we'll come back right this is the last one So that's those, we'll put those to one side. I might actually give those a wash in some alcohol because some of them are a bit sticky. Um, right, so now we can take that off like that, turn it over, put that to one side for a minute. And we turn it over and there are a load more screws to take out. <laughs> Yay. So uh, yeah, I'll take all these out and then we'll see where we are. Yeah, they're two mil. Right, so you need a 2.5 and a two mil, just so you know. Right, let's take these out. Start from up here. All right, that's the last one. Now, should we be able to get those, take that off of there. I'm gonna give this a wash and everything um, before we go on, because it's covered in uh, resin and alcohol. <laughs> I'll go and wash this and I'll come back. Right, so the next thing on the instructions is put the new FEP film in between the two steel gaskets, fasten the 24 screws again and make sure the film is not too tight. So I'm assuming you just drive the screws through the plastic. So we'll see what happens. So we'll put that on there like that. And that over the top like that. And we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to do is just pop the screw on and just push it. Oh, that is actually going through. Right, okay, that worked. So what I'll do is I'll put one in each corner and then um, go round and do the rest. And that will hold it all square while we do it up. 
See now normally I would say don't tighten up the screws until you've got them all in but I think in this case there's not really a lot of choice you, you kind of have to so we'll just have to go around and, and put all the screws in and tighten them down but I say they, they actually they're lining up really well so it should be all right and I say putting them in like that has pulled it down square so I've actually seen some comments on various forums and whatnot of people saying that changing this is an absolute nightmare so it will be interesting to see if this actually works or not because it seems from the instructions that it's actually fairly straightforward but you know whether it is or not right that's all the screws back in I was just thinking actually that um, it's actually punching the screws through the plastic is probably not a terrible idea because uh, the plastic then gets pulled into the threads and actually will help to seal the threads so probably not a terrible idea now let's see so the last thing it says cut off the extra edges before you install the steel gaskets back into the resin tank make sure the film is clean and has no scratches so right we'll trim that off around there and then put that back in the tank <sighs> right well I just picked this up to uh, do it and I realized this has it's like a screen protector for a phone it has a, a layer a plastic protective sheet over the top of it which it doesn't mention at all in the instructions that's useful because now I've got to unbolt the whole thing again take that take those covers off and then put it back on again so yeah great what did I say before about dodgy instructions this is exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about Right, well after much wailing and gnashing of teeth, I have undone all of the 24 screws again, uh, taken the protective film off, put the plastic film back on, put the 24 screws back in. <laughs> and now we can put it back in the frame. So yeah, there we go, Never mind. Right, let's drop that in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put one screw in each corner and use those to pull it down and then I'll put the rest in. I think that's the best way to do it. And I think... So, just, just... There we go, that's the first one. And so I'm not doing it up too tight, I'm just doing it up until it's just, it's just like taking up the tension. Like that. And like I say, we'll do one on each corner, then we'll try and pull them down as evenly as we can. So that one's just touching as well. And then we'll do this one. Right, so now we'll start pulling it down as square as we can. This is kind of like if you've ever changed uh, like the head gasket on a car or something like that or ever bolted down something like that. You have to, you have to torque the bolts down in a certain order because basically what you want to do is pull it down flat. You don't want to pull one side down and then pull the other side down because it will just go on crooked and it will be awful. So We'll just slowly work it down. Like this, one corner at a time. Right. And now I'll start putting the rest of them in and then just go round and pull it all down square. Right, okay, that's got that all bolted down. Just hoping that isn't too tight. It does seem, oh, there's a bit of, get off. Right, 
Well, I think that we've got that. So I think what I'll do now is I'll put this back on the printer. We'll try and print something and see what happens. Right, so normally I would say here is the finished article. I can't obviously show you the finished article because it's mounted back on the printer, but um, here are the, the end results, shall we say. So this is the, uh, the print that led to me changing the film uh, because obviously this one, it's pulled a big lump out of it. And uh, here's one I printed a little while ago. And uh, as you can see, that's come out absolutely fine. And you may well recognize <laughs> this chap from a, a project that we put up a little while ago. Um, now, one thing I will say in closing is the first print that I did after I changed the film actually failed. Uh, it stuck to the film instead of the build plate. And I must confess, when I put the tank back on, I did wonder if I had the film a little bit too tight. So what I did was I took the tank back off and the screws that hold the film in place, I backed each one of those off half a turn. And ever since then, it's been printing absolutely perfectly. So yeah, so you may find if you change the film on your printer, you might actually have to adjust it slightly uh, once you've got it in place. But um, yeah, apart from that, this is uh, rather well, a bit of uh, simple but essential maintenance. So hopefully this has been of uh, interest to some of you. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.